What's up SAS Masters, my name is George and today we're going to review Pictory. This one is a lifetime deal that lets you transcribe videos, turn text into videos and edit videos via text. Now it sounds kind of weird but I will be showing you what I'm talking about in this video. In this video I will be covering what I like and dislike about Pictory and to be honest out of the four tools that Pictory has, three are a no-go for me. One of them is kind of okay. So at the end of the day, you're going to decide if this is the right deal for you or not. So let's get into the review right now. All right, let's get started with the lifetime deal that's going on right now. It starts off at $59 for the lifetime deal. And if you guys consider buying this, do consider using that link in the description. It helps you out with a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. Now, what do I think in terms of pricing? I think pricing is priced right. It's not expensive because they don't make you stack a whole lot or buy a big license to get all the features because from license tier one, $59, you get the no picture branding. You get 30 projects per month, a 60 minute video per upload. So that's a one hour video that you have upload for each one of those projects. One gigabyte video file size per upload and 10 hours per month of all video uploaded. That's license tier one. So, I mean, that's pretty good for $59. If you need more, projects more times more uploads for the video for the video size for example if you have two hour long videos then i recommend jumping to license here three which gives you unlimited projects 120 minutes videos per upload to get by file size everything just goes up and up right plus you get the bulk download short video podcast as csv and integration with hootsuite hootsuite is not really popular with our community but if you're using it well that could be pretty useful for you guys okay so Pricing is all right. And the videos are 1080p. So if you are using 4K, then this is not a good deal. In my case, I use 4K. So if I use this for 4K, that's not a good deal for me. Let's jump over into Pictory. This is divided into four main tools. And like I said before, this is going to be a review video and a no BS video. In my opinion, I think these three tools, I mean, they suck. They, they don't they do what they have to do. There's no bugs or anything like that. But just the output that you get from them is not what you expect. I mean, you really have to fine tune it to actually make it look the way you like. And at the end of the day, you're going to get a video that's not going to create a wow factor. So just consider that the tool that I do like is the edit videos with voice using text. And that's the last one we're going to check out. Let's first check out article to video. What does that mean? We're going to grab an article from a website, we're gonna input it there and we're gonna check it out. Let's grab this one right here. Um, I just searched for this. You gotta trust me on this. I just grab it. This is the text that's in this block. I don't know this page. I don't know who they are. And I didn't grab this by any means, right? I just searched for it and grabbed it. So what it's going to do, it's gonna read it. It's gonna use the AI to kind of grab the phrases that are worth capturing to convert it into a video. So it's going to turn text into video. Um, like I said before, if this is this, this didn't impress me because at the end of the day, you have to actually fine tune it. So here's a blog and what you see in green is what it thinks. It's the best phrase it could grab to use it. So at the end of the day, you have to check it out and see, hey, you know what? Um, this is actually pretty interesting, too. So I'll have to grab this. All right. Oh, well, right click. There we go. All right. Two clicks and it added it to the video. That's if I think that's important to be in the video. I could keep on going through the blog and say, OK, you know what? This is not interesting. All right. Here's a little X. Remove that so I can remove it and add it. Um, that is how it grabs it. Let me show you what happens next. I won't be moving any of the other text just so you can see what the output is going to be. I can save it. I can go to previous and I can go to next. Now I can choose from three options. Landscape, which is 16 by nine, which is the video that you're looking at right now, which is a rectangular one for use on YouTube or televisions. Nine by 16, which is the other way around vertical meant for stories on, on Facebook, on, on Instagram and all of those and square to use on post or anywhere you want. Um, let's choose landscape. Let's grab that and it's going to convert it. It's going to grab videos from Shutterstock. All right. So here we go. And let's play this right now just so you can see it. Let's preview it. 
it already inserted images and all that. It grabbed some from the blog post and some it made by itself from Shutterstock. So if you like to load. Okay, so from what you could see is that the phrases that it grabs, you have to fine tune that because it won't do it automatically and you won't get a good output. And the same thing happens with the video it adds. You have to fine tune it because it won't give you the output that you need. I mean, what the hell was that? I mean, why is this there? Um, it's a, if a picture is worth a thousand words, then I'll skip. I mean, it even has, it has nothing to do even with the phrase. It doesn't even say brain or head or human, but it added that. So those are things you have to consider. And then when we went to meet, it added this. It says beef right here. And that's kind of add something like, okay, that looks nasty. And you wouldn't want that in a video. So we have to fine tune this. All right. So let's go into visuals. And these are the visuals that it's using. You can grab those. We can replace them, obviously. We can replace the audio. These are the audio that it's grabbing, like for example, the music. The styles, for example, for the subtitles, there's several types of styles right here. All right, a couple, I think like about eight, three. Oh, here it is. Um, nine styles, all right? And the format, we can switch it again. So if you fine tune this and add the right, what do you call it, um, phrases and the right videos, that have to do with the phrase that it's talking about, well, you could get a good output of the video, but you won't get it automatically, all right? So the AI is not doing its job like it's supposed to. And the other thing is that, come on, you're not gonna get a wow factor with one of these videos. You could use it potentially for blog posts or, I don't know, social media, but you won't get that wow factor. Just, let's be realistic, okay? Let's go into my projects. Well, picture again. So we tested we tested that one. Then there's script to video. We can start this one also. This is where we write the script and it kind of does the same thing also. I'm just gonna grab script from this right here. Okay. Just grab there. Put it here. Proceed. We'll use square now. And again, it's gonna generate it for us. It's kinda kinda guess what's the important part of those phrases that we added and it's going to create the video. Let's watch it pretty quickly just to see what the automatic output is of this without fine tuning it. Okay. Okay, so you saw the output. It's not gonna work out. I mean, what is this waste about? It's talking about, did you know that truly grass-fed beef not only has a much lower carbon footprint? I mean, it's talking about being eco-friendly in that sense, but it put it this, like this waste coming there because it, it has the carbon footprint. I think it grabbed that. If the AI was working properly, it would first consider that it's talking about cows, beef, and all of that. So it shouldn't put kind of this type of image. It would have put a nicer image of a nice looking place without trash, no, something like that. But you can see that the output, it's not gonna work out. You have to fine tune it. Again, you can replace it. What phrases you want to use from what you've written and what the images or the videos you want to use. And then we have visuals to text. You upload images, and then you add the visual. So basically this is manual work. You add it there and you add the subtitles to it. Nothing fancy about it. This one is the interesting one. Edit videos with voice using text. This is the only one that kind of impressed me out of the four tools. 
edit videos with voice using text. So what we have to do is upload a file. I won't do it right now because I already uploaded one. So I'm going to open up the project from a file that I already uploaded. Again, you can choose from these languages so it knows what the language of that video is. And once you upload it, in this case, I'll go to my projects. This one is the one I uploaded, all right? Which is a video I previously recorded. If you haven't seen it, I'm talking about Sleek Plan. You can check that out. It's an overview. Okay, what I like about this. Well, first off, you can remove filler words. Let me see if there's any on this video. Okay, here it is. So in this case, so I said, so I would turn this on. If I were you, um, default, let me click play on it so you can hear it. So I would turn this on if I were you. Um, default sort bot. Okay, so those are filler words. Um, mm, uh, like those kind of words are filler words. And what it does, it automatically removes them by turning this on. So let's hear it again. And it's going to chop that part of the video also. Um, be careful because if you are showing something in the video that doesn't that you shouldn't chop it off, then you shouldn't remove it. All right. Let me click play again. So I would turn this on if I were you. Default sort by. Did you hear that kind of little jump there? You can notice it. it we're noticing it right now because we're actually trying to hear it. But as someone who's just watching the video and it jumps that part, you won't notice it. So that's one of the good things I like about it. It removes that. And that's one of the things they mentioned on the deal on Pictory right here is that it's an alternative to Descript. Um, Descript is super powerful, way more powerful than this. But it's just the little, little things that it's kind of similar to it, which is those one of the things. You can remove those filler words. Another thing that it's similar to, fill, fuller, uh, to Descript is that you can remove a word and it'll chop that off. So you are editing the video by editing the text, all right? So for example, I'll remove default, right? Here. I'll remove that one. Delete from video, okay? And let's click play, and it's gonna jump that. I would turn this on if I were you. Default sort by category, just It kind of does that jump too, too harsh, all right? You, you could hear it. Um, let's remove, remove another one. For, let's get this one, for example. Let's remove, can we remove two words? No, we gotta do one at a time. So we'll remove example and this. So it's gonna remove that part. Let's click play. Plus, plus we have the team members that's obviously on the plan that you're on. Tier one, five team members, tier two. That sounded a bit better. So remove that little piece of phrase and it jumped in. Why would you do this? Well, maybe you made a mistake or you made, you know, you need to replace that with something else and you can remove it that way. That's something I like about it. You can also merge, you can split, up, edit words, which is what we did right now, delete from the video. So we can delete the whole phrase if we like, add to highlights if we want, delete from video or generate video. So basically that is what I kind of liked. I think it could be better without making those harsh like jumps. And also if this was in a way that it was subtitled in a way it was sectioned. Like for example, on YouTube, when you see the subtitles, they are based on timelines, timelines, all right? So when you edit that timeline, it doesn't move, it doesn't shift the timeline from the original video in case you want to use the subtitles later on. Another thing that you're going to notice is that when you remove these, obviously we remove a part of the video and the video starts reducing right here. So in this case, this video, is 60 minutes long with 60 minutes long with 12 seconds. Let me put back the filler words and it jumped to 19 seconds. So just by removing those. And on the video, we can keep the subtitles or remove them. Once we have that, we can generate the video. This is the part that I find that it's interesting about Victory. The other ones, I wouldn't use them unless I, well, in my case, I make my own videos and I have video editing skills, but if not, that would be something interesting, making the text into videos. But again, like I said before, you have to fine tune the phrases and the videos that it's outputting so you get something that's kind of workable. And the other thing that Pictory has is the brand settings, which are these right here. We can add our logo for location for the watermark. We can add an intro. So every time that we render a video, it's going to add the intro to it, the title, the scenes, and the outro. Outro is pretty useful. 
for example for youtube videos at the end where you want to put those little cards for the next video that's coming that you can add it there if you want it to enable it so you have those options for brand settings so basically that is pictory like i said before this is my honest review of what i like and dislike about it like i said these are not impressive at all what i find interesting is the edit videos with voice using text and if they put more energy and effort into this section they could really they could have a really good product and something workable if i were to keep this deal it would be because of this because i see potential in future development but as of now if i were just to buy it for what i find right now i wouldn't get it all right so i would buy it for what it could be not what it is right now but maybe this is something that impresses you and you are good with it well there's a the deal all right guys i thank y'all for watching remember my name is george this is sasmaster and i'll see you guys later